from Double Dust Ink and I'm here with a brand new look. It's pretty much like welcome back to spring. Um, spring is finally here. We've been waiting for it for a really long time. It's cold but now it's warm and so these are just some colors that I came up with. Um, I used some different pigments, lip cards on the lips and so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and all the info for all the products will be in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. I've already primed my face with Bare Minerals Foundation Primer. I primed my eye with NYX Eyeshadow Base, and right now I'm gonna apply Soft Ochre by MAC, it's a paint pot, onto my eyelid. I'm gonna apply that all over using my fourth finger, since it's the finger with the lightest touch. And now I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo White Pencil. Well, this isn't really the Jumbo one, but it's a white pencil. Does the same thing, and I'm gonna smooth that all over my eye just to get my colors to pop a little bit more. I'm gonna clean it up with a Q-tip just because I don't want any excess around the area. And now I'm gonna use my Glitter Glue by Too Faced. Really good product if you wanna apply pigment or glitter and you don't want it too much fallout. I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Pigment in Lime Pearl. And I'm gonna apply that with a shadow brush. I'm gonna get that all over my lid. You can see the color really starting to pop. Great. Now I'm gonna go in with some of the my favorite shadows by MAC. They are Motif, Soft Brown, and Saddle, as well as Handwritten. And I'm gonna start with the lightest shade and build up to the darkest shade and put that in my crease and kind of build up to the eyebrow. So I'm just taking a shadow, a uh, blending brush, excuse me, by MAC, and I'm just applying those four colors, motif, soft brown, saddle, and handwritten, into my crease and blending up to the eyebrow. And I'm gonna put the darkest color, which is saddle, in the very, um, and handwritten, excuse me, in the crease to get that kind of darker shade on the very outer V edge of my eye. And that's what I'm doing here now. And then right above that, I'm gonna apply Rice Paper by MAC. It's really good for an eyebrow, eyebrow highlight. So I'm gonna apply that right above the shadows that I blended up. And that's the one I'm pointing to. And then I'm just gonna go back in and blend some more so I can get one even shade. Go back in with my pigment just a little bit to clean up if any, I may have gotten any shadow on top of the pigment. And now I'm gonna go in with my satin eyeliner by NYX. It's kind of creamy, gives a satin finish. I like to base um, liners with this one because it shows a really dark, and then I'm gonna clean it up just so I can get that perfect wing on the outside and I won't have any extra shadow. I'm gonna go over my liner, and then I'm gonna wing that out really nicely, going from the corner of my eye. And now I'm gonna take two jumbo pencils by NYX. One is green, a so lime color. And I'm gonna put that on the outside of the under eye, and then I'm gonna take my blue Milani Jumbo Pencil and use it to the corner because I kind of want the blue to fade to green just to give me a little bit of pop in the eye. And then I'm gonna go over that green with Swimming by MAC just to make it pop a little bit more and set that Jumbo Pencil. And then I'm gonna go over that blue with that shade by MAC. Now I'm gonna put black, the same eyeliner satin finish in my waterline. 
I apply my lips off camera. I use Too Faced Lip Insurance. And on top of that, I apply the OCC Lip Tar in Hoochie and in Pretty Boy just to mix those two and get that pretty color. And I also put Plum Liner by MAC on top. And now I'm taking my Sephora sponge, that's for concealer, and I'm applying MAC Hold On Wear Concealer in shade NC45 on my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And I'm just gonna use that sponge to kind of blend it out until you really can't see it. And this is kind of the part of the video where I was talking about the lighting. As you can see, the sun is setting and I do apologize for that. So at times I may look darker, I may look lighter or even ashy. So I do apologize for that. But you kind of get the technique of using the sponge to kind of do the highlight and how it kind of shows up and gives you that brightness effect underneath the eye and those parts of the area where without makeup, you would normally have some discoloration. So I'm just gonna keep blending that out so I get a nice even blend. And then I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics blending brush and just kind of go over that to make sure I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that and make sure all the product is blended into my liking. And once it is, I'm gonna apply my LA Colors Mineral Blush. Just got it from a beauty supply, it's really inexpensive. It's just a natural color blush, doesn't give you too much color. And now I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Beige Luxury Powder. And I'm gonna use that to set my whole face. And you can see it go on pretty well, but because of the lighting, it may appear to be a little bit ashy, but um, as you guys just kind of see in the pictures earlier, it looks really good in the natural daytime lighting. And this is pretty much just gonna set my face all done. Announcement! We are added our beautiful friend Alexis Davis to our MUA Double Dutch Ink group. So we hope you guys can see more from her coming soon. Thanks for watching.